Did Surfshark just hint at a massive update coming soon? The Surfshark Windows app has just received another big update. Will you still be able to use Surfshark on older operating systems? Let's discuss. If you want to get your VPN holiday shopping done early this season, check out the first link down in the description. There you'll find a coupon called SharkTube, which will give you two extra months when buying Surfshark VPN. What's up guys, welcome to another edition of Surfshark Academy. As per usual, I'll be sharing a number of news stories that happened over the past month here at Surfshark so that you can be up to date on everything. Also, my personal wish this holiday season is to get Surfshark Academy to 10,000 subscribers. So if you want to help me get there, then make sure to hit the subscribe button and set your notifications to on so that you can get these videos as soon as they come out. Okay, let's first talk about this big update coming to the Surfshark Windows application. Last month, I spoke about how update 4.3.7 fixed a lot of login issues. This month, a new 4.4 update brings some nice quality of life changes, starting with the trusted network feature. In case you didn't know, Surfshark has the ability to connect automatically without you having to open the app or choose a location manually. All you have to do is go to the settings, VPN settings, and toggle this switch called auto connect and the app will connect automatically. The nice thing about it is that you can also customize how auto connect works by adding a Wi-Fi network that you trust. This can be your home, maybe your workplace network on which you may not need a VPN to connect automatically. So for instance here, if I enable auto connect and then go to preferences, I'll then add this network to trusted. Now I will not be automatically connected to the VPN every time I use this Wi-Fi. But now in addition, this new 4.4 update adds this little line to the connection dashboard after you added a network that you trust. And when you click on it, it will open the trusted network menu, allowing you to add more of them much quicker. Also, now the app will detect if you're using an insecure network, instructing you to connect to the VPN to protect your connection. Continuing with the dashboard changes, you can now enable or disable the kill switch feature without having to go to the VPN settings menu. Again, small update, but definitely a welcome one, especially if you use the kill switch feature frequently. This version of the app also completely revamped the login screen and added the ability to log in with your Google or Apple account. We are going to be making a dedicated video about this feature very soon, so get subscribed to know more about it. The last small update was actually made to the Surfshark antivirus. You can now right click on files you wish to scan and here you will see an option to scan with Surfshark. All in all, great update and make sure to get this version of the app by going to surfshark.com forward slash download slash windows. Now, last month we shared the news of Surfshark ending app support for older versions of macOS systems. Well, the Windows app is also following its footsteps and in the near future, the latest versions of the app will only be available on Windows 10 and Windows 11. I say the latest versions because, surprise, surprise, Surfshark will also be releasing legacy apps which will work on older operating systems. In fact, Surfshark on macOS already has a legacy.dmg version of the app available for download and the Windows app will also have a similar version very soon. It's important to note that these legacy versions will only receive the most critical security and stability updates. So they are still safe to use and are a great alternative if you don't want to use a browser extension or connect manually. But if you're still running an old version of Windows or Mac OS, then please, please, please update your software if you can. I know, I know, here goes Gvidas again preaching how important it is to use the latest versions available and Trust me, I love old OSs more than anyone, actually. I was rocking Windows 7 up until 2015, and it was great, but it was time to move on. And if you are still on Windows XP, oh dear. <laughs> I even thought of a video idea, maybe using Windows XP in 2022, and see just how quickly I can get a virus. Let us know in the comments if you would like to see that type of video. Now, let's talk about a new update coming to the Surfshark Android app. It's actually been a little while since we had one of those, but the Android team has been busy refining the app and making it more stable and easier to use. First things first, if you use Surfshark widgets, now you will be able to pause your VPN connection without having to open the app. And speaking of widgets, there have also been some fixes done to the manual connection widget. And lastly, the aforementioned login with Google or Apple has also been added. Now, when you hear the number 100, what comes to your mind? Maybe 100 days left in school, 100 years? I don't know how you make that up. Anyway, well, if you ask a Surfshark user what they think, 
they will probably say 100 VPN countries. That's right, Surfshark now has 100 different VPN countries available for connection. We've already made a video about that, which I will link just below that like button. But one thing that I discussed in that video was a possible sneak peek into Surfshark's big new feature. As you may know, earlier this year, Surfshark released the Nexus. This was a true innovation in the VPN industry. Traditionally, when using VPNs, you connect to a single server, literally just one server, and then your connection goes out to the internet, making you secure online. Everything's good until you realize that if that single server were to go down, your data could be at a risk of leaking. So when Surfshark released the Nexus, they completely threw that single server idea out the window and said, look, we have thousands of servers. Why not connect them all together and make our VPN extra safe? A server goes down, no biggie, just reroute it to another server without any disconnections. Besides security, there are other benefits, mainly new VPN features. The first feature that came out as a result of this was IP Rotator. As the name suggests, it rotates your IP within a connected country to boost your security. So I think that with Surfshark reaching 100 VPN countries, it's preparing to release new VPN features such as dynamic multi-hop and even the ability to connect within a region or even a few of your own selected countries. So say if I wanted my IP to rotate between Germany, France, and Spain, well, that is possible with the Nexus technology. But hey, let me know what you think about my prediction in the comments below. And speaking of the Nexus, the Surfshark Nexus has been named the VPN solution of the year by the Cybersecurity Breakthrough Awards program. Now, if you don't know what the Cybersecurity Breakthrough is, it's an organization that identifies the top companies, technologies, and products into today's global information security market. So if there's a company out there that makes a big breakthrough in cybersecurity, it will probably be mentioned by this organization. So again, Nexus being such an innovation, it was not left unnoticed. Before we get to our last story, let's present the community poll of the week. In case you missed it, we do various community polls related to CyberSec and Tech Daily on our channel, so make sure to cast your votes when a new poll is released. This time, it's all about Google's VPN. And yes, Google has a VPN. Are you interested? Well, 30% of you said yes, otherwise you found this quite comical. I mean, I get it, Google data collection and the VPN, it's not exactly a PB and J combo that you would expect. That being said, I am a big fan of some Google hardware and software solutions, specifically their phones and apps like Google Calendar, because it just makes my life so much easier. So I do want to give the Google One VPN a try and tell you my thoughts in an upcoming video. So get subscribed so you don't miss it. And our last story to finish the episode is all about our second channel, Surfshark. If you didn't know, around two months ago, we actually split our channel in half to bring you more targeted content. So for instance, if you like Surfshark news, updates and tutorials, then Surfshark Academy is the channel for you. But if you want to hear crazy stories related to CyberSec, then make sure to subscribe to Surfshark. In fact, recently my colleague Victoria has released a video all about the issue of doxing. Doxing is a huge problem in the modern world. It's essentially a way of publishing someone's private information with a malicious intent. So anyway, it's a great video. Go check it out. I'll leave it in the description and here on the YouTube card. But that'll be all for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to subscribe, leave a like on this video. Oh, and here are some more videos that I think you'll enjoy. But that's all from me. Take care.